Hello all, we are here for one more lesson of this AutoCAD 2016 training course and uh, with this lesson we are going to start a new chapter of this training course where we are going to start make the setup of the drawing area. And the first topic uh, I need to mention about this, uh, this setting up is to specify units and to specify units there are several ways but the most easy one I would mention to you is to uh, write down the word units and asking for the this dialog box that is, it is called drawing unit so here you can set up first the type of units for length um, dimensions so and you can choose one of these ones uh, architectural decimal engineering fractional scientific uh, for sure uh, in my field i prefer to use decimal units and uh, at the same level, when you choose the units, the type of units, you must choose the precision. And the precision is no more, no less than the number of decimal places. Um, by default, you have four decimal places. I would say that uh, two is enough, but it's up to uh, each one of you to choose what is okay for your type of work. Um, on the same way, we can choose the type of units to angular dimensions. And we have several choices from decimal degrees, degrees, minutes, seconds, grads, radians, surveyor units. Okay. I will choose also decimal degrees and the, the same choice also for the precision and the precision you can choose also the number of decimal places two also then you can choose if the angles are measured uh, positive clockwise or counterclockwise okay it's also up to you uh, usually, to mention it, uh, you count positive angles uh, counterclockwise, so I will leave this blank. We have another uh, setup to define the insertion scale when you insert um, blocks in your drawing. We still did not talk about blocks until now, but um, Keep this in your mind that it is possible that I can choose from all of these type of units. I will leave this in millimeters. Um, some of you that uh, work in other areas like uh, architectural um, may have other units, probably centimeters or meters even so, because I'm more focused with uh, uh, mechanics uh, I use millimeters, okay? It's my personal uh, choice, but again, it's up to each, each of you. Uh, we have also one uh, uh, choice for units of lighting. In, in my field, it's not very important, uh, but I will leave this in international uh, even that I have American or generic, but I will leave this international. Uh, I can choose also this uh, configuration here uh, under this direction button where I can choose uh, where we have the base angle, the zero degrees, uh, corresponding to the cardinal point. So I can put this in north, west, south, whatever it is or other but I will leave this on the east the zero on the east because it is what is more commonly used okay so do the okay 
and this unit setup it is done. Then I need to make definition of my limits. Again, I can call the limits, uh, writing the limits, and this was something that we already seen in one of the previous lessons. I will do it again, and uh, for this definition, I need to uh, insert in, in, in AutoCAD uh, two diagonal points that make definition of an area where I'm going to work. So the first point is the zero, the zero zero point that I have in my command line. So I do the OK. And the upper right corner, I have by default this uh, 420 by 297, which in fact it is uh, A3 format. And I will do the enter also here, and the definition is done. If you remember that previous lesson, you remember also that with my limits, I could turn them on or off, and the result was allowing me, if they were turned it on, allowing me to draw only inside my defined limits. Um, this was, uh, it is important only because um, it's a kind of a way to, uh, in all the amount of space available, uh, you can draw only on a certain area. Okay, it's a little to guide you to to this area. And if you see my uh, coordinate system here, I define the zero zero. So uh, basically, I define around this area here to draw as my limits. I have an uh, uh, easy alternative. Um, with the idea to be guided uh, on, the, on the area I, I draw. Instead of making a limit definition, I can easily draw a rectangle and basically the, the, the definition I need to make is the same because I have to, give, I have to insert two di diagonal points. So if you see in my uh, command line, is asking me for the first corner point where I can say 0 comma 0 for uh, the first coordinate so enter and now uh, is asking for the second point and I can say 420 comma 297 and say enter okay and basically I should have something I don't know where, but I can do the zoom all option. Okay, here it is. And I have a rectangle that uh, has the exact same definition as my limit. So instead, I've done both for you to, to see, but uh, I could use this as an alternative to make a limit definition. Um, also, uh, as a first uh, setup of the drawing before you start, we have uh, two or, or I can consider three important topics that I can leave uh, de defined and I can use uh, while I'm drawing also. So it's, it's a choice of the user. The first one is something called the ortho mode. And the auto mode, it, it's something that when, for example, I try to uh, draw a line, you see now that I have my line uh, fixed only for horizontal or vertical uh, position. So this is the auto mode, turn it on. And in this status bar below, I have this uh, icon here that says auto mode. So if I click now and turn it off, you see that my line now is free. And if I turn it on, it is again on the same mode. 
uh, instead of um, coming down here I can go and click directly on the F8 function of your keyboard to toggle between on and off it has the same exact uh, effect uh, this is very good because if I will turn it on again uh, if I want to create a line um, on the direction that is defined now as you can see it is an horizontal line if I say for example 150 millimeters and do the enter he will respect the direction I have defined in my screen and in this case I'm completely sure that this direction is horizontal because if I have it free I don't know what is this direction okay that is why it is very interesting the use of this auto mode there is one more uh, similar setup that has to do with these angles because I'm saying the auto mode uh, setups the horizontal and vertical be, uh, but I, I don't have any control when I'm talking about angles so I can come here also to this stat status bar and if it is not uh, in the status bar remember that I can come to this customize you see the auto mode it is here I can leave them out of the bar if I uh, do here the uncheck and I have another uh, thing that I'd like you to look now that is the polar tracking okay it is uh, on the status bar um, and the polar tracking it is this guy here okay and you see that when I click in this uh, down arrow I have already some definition done here okay I do the, tr the tracking settings to show you what I can do with this polar tracking and this can be also uh, toggled between on and off with this F10 uh, key of your keyboard and uh, I can reach here also doing the DS drafting settings and going to the polar tracking there are several ways to reach this dialog box so basically here I can okay toggle this on and off okay and if I do this uh, checked for uh, on now I can um, do a definition of an uh, increment angle it can be for example the 30 degrees and um, I can use these uh, uh, here I, I will do it only orthogonal uh, orthogonally so vertical and horizontal and I can instead of doing this because I can have this mode with the ortho I can use this tracking using all the all polar angle settings so okay now if I try to draw one line okay I have the auto mode off okay but I can grab still and you see that uh, I can grab a horizontal line and if I start slowly to move my line you see that okay you see the 30 degree line you found it and if I have this 30 degree defined then I can make the same thing I've done with the auto mode which is giving a distance and saying enter and it will do the line under the direction that is defined okay so 0 30 60 90 120 and so on okay you see that this is very good because uh, I make a definition here of a certain uh, increment angle which I can define with these uh, standard values but besides this I can make additional values uh, particular angles for example I will make one or two here uh, I would say for example the 10 degree angle and the 40 degree angle okay 
let us see what what it happens now and okay the 10 here it's not 10 20 it's only the 10 degree angle the 30 and the 40 it is here okay um, so I have a lot of control uh, with this and please check now that if I do uh, I don't care about the length of this line now but if I click like this you see that on on the point I've clicked as the end point you see that is starting to measure again okay and I will do this in this direction and it will measure all, all again the zero degrees in the same direction but please note that I have something very interesting here inside which is this part here polar angle measurement and it says absolute so if it is absolute it will measure always the angles on the same way but if I do this relative to the last segment and to the OK let us try to do something now OK again what you know already it will measure under the degrees that are defined now I, I will use this 10 degree angle and you see that now he grab the last line defined or the last direction defined and use it for the next line as the uh, zero degrees and it will mark you see zero uh, considering the last one uh, uh, 10 sorry considering the last one as zero and again the 30 the 40 and all the definition so basically this is very interesting because I have a lot of control doing it on the absolute way or the relative uh, way with all these definitions here. Uh, just to end this lesson to explain you that this is very interesting in having this setup and we will see this in one of the future lessons that this initial setup on the Unix, on the limits and a couple of more things it is interesting at this moment we will do it uh, and we are seeing it as an example before start drawing but this is interesting to make a permanent a, a permanent definition so that uh, every time you start a new drawing you have already this defined so you will do this work only once we will see this a little later in these video lessons.